Welcome back to the only NBA 2K channel on YouTube with absolutely no clickbait builds and lives the channel. And what I mean by that is this. Earlier in this year, earlier this year, I made a lot of builds. And some of them have been patched. But video does not lie. You go back and do the research, you'll see Michael Jordan up top and so forth. All your big names. So go through there, check those builds out as well. Now, and as I always say, I got your back. New subscribers, thank you because now you're going to come to find out. And to the channel game, you guys already know. This build right here marks my 433rd build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world, and I am the hardest working builder for you. The NBA 2K22 current gen community and 433 builds this year for you guys only prove that fact. Now, this is going to be another random build that I'm going to make. I do not know what it's going to be, but I'm going to tell you this. We got the 10. That's factual. We're going after the 10 this time, and I'm going to make sure that we get the 10. And like I said before, this is kind of an inside look at Ant Lives' channel. Okay? So, now I know a lot of you guys see that 23. No, it's not Michael Jordan. I'm not going to say it's Michael Jordan because it is not. All right. Now, for the skill breakdown, let's go right here. Let's go right here. I'm going to use this, this pie chart right here. So this is going to be the two-thirds uh, finishing, the one-fourth shooting with the one-eighth defensive and the one-eighth playmaking skill breakdown pie chart. All right? Now, what we're going to do, I like this pie chart right here, this physical. It just showed up for me there. Okay, but I do like this one. But I want him to be fast. I want you to just be super fast. Because I'm thinking about how I'm going to push this build out. All right. Let me see. That's decent too because he will be strong. That's a good one because he's going to be even fast and strong. But I'm going to make him super fast. So I'm going to go right there with the pure speed. All right. Now, I'm just going to go up on this close shot. I'm just going to see what we can get. I'm going to go all the way up on this driving layup. I'm going to go all the way up on this driving dunk. And let me see. I'm going to go all the way up on the standing dunk as well. Okay. That's just going to give us 17. Like I said, this is going to be a finishing pro a finished product. Okay. Now, I tell you guys, once I realize you, you, you get a lot of uh, badge points for the free throw, right? That's decent. But what I realized is that you only need to be a 60 to hit your free throws. All right. So I'm going to bring that post fade up. All right, you want to bring up your fadeaway. So we get right now we got 17 and 17, so it's looking kind of good. Right, I'm gonna bring this ball handle up. I got to see. I'm gonna bring his post control up, and then I'm gonna bring up his pass accuracy as well. Pass accuracy as well. So okay, I'm gonna need some defensive badges. I already know that by having only 111 points. So I'm gonna bring these three up. Right? Yes, I got to get some defensive badges. Okay. So let's see what we do here. Hmm. See what we can take off without actually harming the build. All right, let's see if we can take anything off of here. Okay, we can. Actually, no, we do. All right, so we're gonna leave that at 56. All right, we're gonna leave that at 56. Let's see something. I'm not really thinking about standing dunking with this build here. I'll just give him something like. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see without losing too much. All right, we don't want to lose that, so we're going to go right here to 51. All right, now I got 38, so I'm going to push this up. And I got three left. Let's see if I can get an extra bash point. I cannot. That sucks. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Nope. So I'm not going to I'm going to I'm going to be all right with this right here because I want I could go lose a little bit on this shot. Let me see. I'm not for sure. All right, so we'll take it like this. I'll take it like this. This is great. Set it because this is going to have six defense badges. So that can be three silver badges if I wanted to be. Then I got, of course, I got five gold playmaking badges. Then I got four Hall of Fame. Matter of fact, this isn't a Hall of Fame shooting build. But I can drop a little bit more, but I don't want to bother this. I do not want to bother anything up here. So I'm going to leave that 16 shooting badge. So I'll just have basically three gold or like three gold two silver wherever i choose to put those badges at but then i got my four finishing badges which will be hall of fame okay now 
I'm going to make, like I said, he's going to be, he's going to be small, right? So we're going to, we're not, I'm not going to have him be tall. I want to get a little bit more out of that speed with this build. Like I said, this is just what I just do. Now I'm going to make him built. Why not? I'm going to drop him. So I get an extra and then I get an extra strength as well. So that's cool. Now I'm even on my acceleration. Like I thought I'm even on my acceleration and I got an extra on my strength, but I'm going to drop it. Like I said, because I'm looking for the speed out of this build. I'm not going to bring him. Let me see. I'll bring him right here to 178. That way I don't lose his acceleration point, even though I will gain his strength. Let me see something. Can we get a ride out of mm, 187 is decent as well. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead with 90. I'm going to make sure he has that 90. Let me see. I'm going to make him 170. I like 95 acceleration and 95 speed at 99 overall. And like I said, you already know we got the 10. So this boy right here is going to be a bad boy. All right. Now for his wingspan, I can kick it out and take full advantage of his uh, defense. Right. And his ball handle is decent and his three pointer is decent fadeaway and such forth. So forth. He'll have a nice driving dunk the pro contact dunks. He's a bad boy. Right. But I don't want that. I'm going to bring this wingspan back. I'm going to bring it back right here. I want it right here at 82. I mean, uh, 76 for his wingspan because I want that 82 three-point shot. I like that. Let me see. Yeah. I like the three-point shot. It's going to make him deadlier being that he is uh, uh, his. He can only get gold shooting badges. All right? So I'm going to push his wingspan back to take advantage of that because they'll have a high three ball with gold shooting badges. So that's going to fall. All right? If I push it out here, it's really going to make him – not say iffy or sometimey he will hit but he's not going to hit as consistently as he would right here now i got a, a decent driving dunk as well because that's going to be an 82 and we already know like i said before we got the 10 and what i mean by the 10 that's the slash you take over and you're going to get a 10 of your physicals a 10 of your finishing a 5 of your shooting a 10 of your ball handle a 5 of your pass accuracy a 5 of your post control which is your footwork and your low post moves and then you're going to get a 5 to your defensive rebounding categories all right and that's all and that's even that's before 99 but at 99 overall that's when this build will be lights out all right so at 99 overall you're gonna have a close shot of 88 when you ignite the slash takeover at 99 overall that is going to be a 93 close shot like i said your footwork your post control is going to work great with that when, if you do get low get caught low you'll be able to do a couple of pump fakes, but i wouldn't look for it as a go-to but you're going to be fast enough to hit him with a post move and go back up all right now you're driving layup that's key because he's going to have a nice layup package on him all right you're going to have a Kyrie Irving's layup package on him. He's going to be a bad boy. Ooh, without a doubt, he's going to be a bad boy. I wish I could get uh, the, the the contact dunks for him. I can't. But that's going to be a 95. And at 99 overall, when your night decides to take over, that's going to be over the cap of 99 and be 105. So he's going to have a driving layup of 105 when your night decides to take over at 99 overall. Now, look at his driving dunk. Like I said, he's going to be able to get – no, he won't be able to get Kobe Bryant's dunk package. That's but you'll be able to use an assortment of dunk packages with them because you're gonna have an 82 driving dunk. But when you ignite the slash takeover at 99 overall, that's gonna be a 92. And you got the slash takeover, so you will get contacts, you will get that tomahawk. I uh go you uh take the one hand uh tomahawk dunk, put it on this build, you're gonna get that. I, I'm not really gonna recite the standing dunk because well I will because it does jump over 50. But you're gonna have a standing dunk of 45, and when your night decides to take over 99 overall, that's gonna be a 55. So that's a pretty decent uh standing dunk 2-4, 6-4 shooting guard when you're hot at 99 overall. Now look at your mid-range. I hooked y'all up with the mid-range. You're gonna have an 88 mid-range jumper. You're shooting lights out, right? When your night decides to take over at 99 overall, that's going to be a 93 mid-range jumper. Your three-point shot will be an 86. That's consistent as well. When your night decides to take over at 99 overall, that's going to be a 91 three-point shot. So once you get hot with this build, you're going to have a 93 mid-range and a 91 three-point shot. You're dropping buckets. Your free throw. Use real player shot percentage. Use Larry Bird's release. You're going to have a 61 free throw at 99 overall. And when you ignite the size takeover, that's going to be a 66. So when you get hot with this build, you, you're going to hit. But you're going to still hit anyway. Look to hit around 70 to 73% from the free throw line. 
Trust me, it's going to fall. Now, your post fadeaway. Now, I have a fadeaway tutorial. And I'm going to tell you something. That is a mid-range fadeaway jump shot. And I have a fadeaway tutorial, and it's called Fadeaway Tutorial. Shoot fadeaways like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, where I show you how to shoot the fadeaway anywhere inside of the three-point line off of the dribble. And, of course, this build is going to be able to dribble. This build is a demigod flat-out stud, okay? But... At 99 overall, that's going to be a 93. When you're not decided to take over, that's going to be a 98. So you're going to have a 98 fadeaway, a 91 three-point shot, and then you're going to have a 93 mid-range jumper. So you can shoot at a rate of jumpers with this build. Now, your pass accuracy, that's going to be a 80 at 99 overall. And when you're not decided to take over at 99 overall, that's going to be a 85. So you already know you, you can throw that ball. You, you're a great passer. This build right here can pass as well. Look at your ball handle. That's going to be a 86. You're a dribble guy. He's a nasty boy for 6'4 at the shooting guard position. He's going to be a hard cover. Take this build, run through, ride with it for the rest of the summer. I guarantee you, you're going to dominate. This is a bad comp build. You can take it anywhere, any up, park, wherever you want to go with it, tools, wherever you want to go. He's going to put in his work. He's going to dominate. And at 99 overall, when you're not decided to take over, that's going to be a 96 ball handle. So you already know, like I said, he's a dribble guy. You're going to be able to speed boost well before you get to 99 overall. You can st probably start speed boosting as soon as you put an 8, bring his ball handle up to 80, and you got a 70 speed. Basically, once you're a nice size takeover, that's going to be an 80 on ball speed with the 80 on ball dribble. So it's going to you could have a 70 ball handle, matter of fact, and a 70 speed. As soon as you're a nice size takeover, you're going to be able to speed boost with this build. All right. Now, your post control, like I said before, which is your footwork and your post move. Post moves, that's going to be a 57 and 99 overall. When you're not decided to take over, that's going to be a 62. So that's going to be pretty decent for that fadeaway jump shot. You're going to hit that J on them. They're not going to like you with this build and being that you're fast. You're going to be able to dribble to that spot, fadeaway instantly, left or right. If they close out on you left, fadeaway right. If they close out on you left, if they close, like I said, if they close out on you right, fadeaway left. If they close out on you left, fadeaway right. You're going to get to create the space. Go watch that tutorial. Trust me, you're going to like it. Now, your perimeter defense, that's going to be a 78. When you're a Knight decides to take over at 99 overall, that's going to be a 83. Your lateral quickness is going to be a 77. And when you're a Knight decides to take over at 99 overall, that's going to be an 82. You're still, you're going to be a pickpocket. You're going to be a pick deep at 98 overall because anything over 80, 80 and up, I consider a pickpocket. But you're going to be, you're going to have a 81 still at 99 overall. And when you're a Knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 86. And then your block, you're going to be able to get blocks because I'm going to put that chase down badge, the bronze, for you to get that effect that's going to be a 36 and 99 overall and when you and Knight decides to take over at 99 overall that will be a 41 and then you're going to have a defensive rebound of 64 and when you and Knight decides to take over at 99 overall that's going to be a 69 so you're going to be able to get rebounds with this build you're going to be able to get blocks because you will have a vertical you, you crash the boards to get your rebounds of course you wouldn't want to go try to post up on those 6 9 6 10 6 11 guy and try to just go up vertically Look for the ball to come off the rim and try to crash the boards. This right here is a sure flat out demigod. Now, there's four ways where you get the fours. I'm not going to recite them in any particular order, right? But one way is winning the NBA championship, the Gatorade facility, reaching level 40, and uh, what is it? Uh, Lord, winning the NBA championship, the Gatorade facility, reaching level 40, and getting to level 99 overall. My bad. Brain fart. Now, you're going to have a speed and an acceleration of 95. You're going to have a vertical of 80. And then you're going to have a strength of 54. When you ignite the slash to take over at 99 overall, basically you turn into Tyreek Hill because your speed and your acceleration both go over the cap of 99 and they will be 105. You're a track star when you get hot with this build. They're not going to be able to keep it with you. And then you're going to have a vertical of 90 because that 80 turns into 90. So when you get hot with this build right here, it's game time. You're going to have a 90 vertical, 105 speed, and a 105 acceleration. And then you're going to have a strength of 64. So he's going to be short, fast, jump out the gym. Once you get this build, like I said, take this build, hurry up, grind this build out, ride this out until NBA 2K23 comes out. Trust me, this is what you want right here. Fourth year shooting guard, this boy is bad. Now, let's see what he is. I got to see. I'm very curious. 
Now, like I said, we're going to go with that slash to take over. I wouldn't take this because even though it's going to help you get your jump shot, it's going to, it does, really doesn't even, it, it, I would say you could use it. You could use this because you still want to have your speed, but it hurts you defensively. Uh, and it really, it, it doesn't hurt your ball handle because you got an 86 ball handle. So that's decent. So this isn't a bad takeover to use. This one isn't neither, but this one just here, this is just the OP of the world. I'm always going to look for that 10 for my physicals whenever I can get it. I'm going to take it. I do not care. That's just me here at Live's channel. But like I said, I'm going to take the slasher takeover and I'm going to see what we get. Okay. Slashing shot creator Devin Booker. You already know what time it is. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm wild. This is wild. Whew, Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, and Pete Maravich, Pistol Pete Maravich, one of the greatest top 75 NBA players of all time. A straight out, flat out stud. Scored 44 points a game in college. If they had, would have had a three point line, he would have scored over 50 points a game in college. Bad man from LSU. And then we got Bradley Bill, one of the greats, too. All right, now let's test this build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you guys where I placed the badges if I were to use this build. Wow, Devin Booker. Boy, woo-wee, y'all already know what he going to do. Man. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little badge spread on him, too. I like this. Okay, now we got 16, right? So, like I said, I'm going to use Limitless Takeoff. We're going to make sure we get that takeoff. We're going to use Posterizer, right? Now, this is going to help him get to that hole a lot, right? We don't need it. You can use it, right? Well, I'm going to go ahead go, go here, Fearless Finisher, and then I'll go ahead and go with Slithery Finisher right there. That's a, this is a great bad setup. I like it a lot. I like that bad setup a lot. So I'll go right there. Now, we got 15 shooting bags. Now, I'm going to go with Clutch Shooter right here. The reason why I'm going to go Clutch Shooter because that's going to help me out on my free throws. when I get If they try to foul me late, they'll say, oh, he can't hit free throws. That Clutch Shooter, that's going to fall. That's just mandatory. All right. Now, we're going to go Blinders. That's, we're gonna we're gonna make this where this boy just he lights it out. Okay, we're gonna go right here with volume shooter. Matter of fact, we're gonna I want volume shooter so bad. We're gonna go fade ace. We're gonna go with difficult shots. All right, I'll go catch and shoot, hot zone hunter, right here and lucky seven. And matter of fact, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'll go here, here, and here. He's gonna fall. That shot's gonna fall. All of that's going to fall. Your fadeaway in your mid-range are your strongest shots. So we're going to clear that up with your difficult shots where you're able to shoot shots off the dribble from the mid-range. You're going to have that fadeaway, and that blindness is going to help that out. The catch and shoot for when you catch and shoot, you're going to hit that. You're going to have that hot zone. You're going to hit that. And if you don't want that, and you could just make it like that, that's going to show up as well. That's going to always show up, okay? That lucky seven, if you get it on the seven second, shoot anything in the shot clock on the seven seconds before it hits uh, 16 seconds, that lucky seven always shows up. And then you got the silver hot zone hunter. That's going to fall as well. All right. Now, 15 playmaking badges, of course, downhill. Stop and go. That's going to make you very, very off the ball handle with this shooting guard. It's going to be hard. Hyperdrive. It's going to be very hard to guard you once you get that going. Okay, unpluckable, and then we have one more badge, and we're going to go not with quick chain, but quick first step. Now, we could go with handles for days, but we're not here trying to be the uh, playmaking shot creator. We're not the play. This is a slashing shot creator. His goal is to break you off the dribble. That's what the R2 and the shot stick hyperdrive is going to do. That's what's going to help you stop and go, basically stop and pop with the basketball while you're dribbling, and you're going to explode that out of quick first step with that. Or you're going to take them downhill as well. This boy right here. Oof. Man. Y'all going to have fun with this build. And now we got six defensive badges. And like I said, I'm going to take that chase down just to give him that at, just to give him that um, animation because he does have that block. So you can look for that from time to time. All right. Now, Intimidator, of course. No, we're going to be with two guards. So we're just going to intimidate the silver. We're going to stretch these badges a little bit. All right. We're just going to stretch them a little bit. All right. Now, we're going to go with Rim Protector for sure. Right, we're gonna go with silver on the rim protector because we're gonna take advantage of our speed, our vertical, and our closeout time for when guys are shooting a three-point shot. 
Trust me, that intimidator is going to show up for you. And then we do got one more, right? And I, I, I want to go, and I'm going to go with this right here, and that is ball stripper. Because if you get caught low and the big man thinks he's going to be able to take you, wrong. That's going to be the absolute furthest thing from the truth. You're going to strip the ball from him. I would go right here, personally. I like that badge. I like this badge a lot better than pickpocket because I know how to get steals without having a pickpocket badge. So that's why I'm going to go right here. Right here with this one. Or, if you want, pick dodger. But I, I know how to see the picks as well, so I know how to get around them. All right. And there you have it. Surprisingly, this is Devin Booker's exact build for a slashing shot creator. Like I said, I just made this randomly for you guys. Don't forget June 8th to June 9th, all the last days for Ant Lives, the channel for NBA 2K22. Current gen, get ready for to see me on NBA 2K23. Current and hopefully next gen. I am the O'Hare Goat Builder. I am the best builder in the world, and I am the hardest working builder for you, the NBA 2K22 current gen community, and 433 builds only prove that fact. And without anything further being said, besides thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend where they want them rare builds at. We got 433 right now. I'm trying to get y'all guys to at least 445 before the deadline all right so like i said bear with me more bills to come and i am out